Today I'm going to be giving you a bookshelf tour of my tiny little bookcase that I have behind me here. I have productivity books, I have YouTube books, I have fiction books, a whole host of things which I'm excited to show you today. So let's just get started. Hi, it's Kelly here back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I really encourage you to stick around and join the community by hitting that big red subscribe button down below for new productivity and planning videos every single week. So yeah, today we are gonna be going over to my bookcase and I'm gonna be showing you some of the books that I keep in there. Now, very first thing to say is that I have a very, very small bookcase in here. We have a big bookcase downstairs, which has a ton of books in it. Most of them are Ethan's, so there's really no point in me showing you that because most of them I don't even know what they are. This is the sort of bookcase where I keep most of my books. I'm ordering new books every single day so I can do book hauls and things for you if you'd be interested in that as I start to read more in 2021. But for today I'm going to be showing you my tiny bookcase behind me. Now this actual cabinet itself is from Argos. It's called the Tall Boy, I think. It's got a little cupboard in the bottom here which I keep stuff for our cat in and then the rest of it is kind of my books and things. So that's where that's from. There's different colours in it if you're interested. I think it was pretty cheap. I don't think it was very expensive and it's such a good space saver instead of having a huge bookcase. So yeah, I love this thing. So I think let's just jump over and I'll show you what's in my bookcase. Okay, so here we are beside the little bookcase. So I'm gonna take you from bottom to top and show you what I have in this bookcase. So on the bottom row here, I have mostly productivity, lifestyle, passion, kind of books. So starting on the left-hand side, I just have a couple of bullet journal books over here. This is just where I keep them just to keep them out of the way because it's a lot easier and some of them I use when I'm filming bullet journal videos. Some of them I just have because they're legacy ones that I used before that I just like to keep and look at. Next I have this book which is called Hook Point. I really recommend this book if you're trying to start a YouTube channel or you want to stand out on social media. This talks about how you can stand out, how you can immediately grab attention of an audience whenever you are creating a YouTube video or creating content. So this is a really great book and I highly recommend it. So next I have a book called Do This For You. This is by Chrissy Chella. She is a fitness trainer. She's also an influencer and she's got a couple of brands and I absolutely love her. I follow a lot of her stuff on Instagram and YouTube and um, she came up with a book recently. Now I haven't had a chance to read this yet unfortunately just because I've had loads of other stuff I'm reading but I'm definitely going to be reading this one in 2021. Nextly I have this little journal book which is called Make Your Bed. This one is about how you can track daily habits habits every day and it's got a little sort of tracker where you can write down a little thing that you did today for every single day. Now I haven't used this one yet just because I've been doing my bullet journaling and other things in my planners so I haven't used this one yet but I did think it was a really nice idea and I definitely will be using it at some point. So next I have a couple of Seth Godin books so I've got a book called Tribes and I've got a book called The Dip. Again these are both kind of books about how um, you can be a leader, how you can grow a brand, knowing when you need to quit and when to continue you so great books both of them. Next I have a book called Meditation and Mindfulness by Andy Puddicombe and um, Andy Puddicombe is the guy who created Headspace so Headspace is a really really great app about meditation that's something I use pretty much every single day either for the meditation or for the sleep music so we really really love this book as well it's really really helpful um, to kind of put that into context and what it means in your life so really really good book. Next I've got a book called The 5am Club by Robin Sharma. Now this one I was really really excited to read and I've only probably got a little bit of the way through this like I'm only on page 38 now. I basically just like pushed this one down my list after I started reading it for something else because something else more exciting came up and I'm so bad for that where I start reading something and then don't finish it and come back to it later so that's what I'm doing with this one at the minute but it started off to be a really really great book I'm interested to read it more and see if it is really really good or not and what the um the science is behind the 5 a.m wake up every single day next I have a book called The Artist's Way now Ethan gave me this one because he found it really helpful for him and it's all about how to reignite your creativity so next I have a book called No More Dreaded Mondays again this is kind of a lifestyle book about igniting your passion about how to basically create a career that you love rather than dreading Monday mornings. So that was a really, really great read. Next, I have a book called Primal Branding with a lovely coffee stain on the front of it. So this one is all about how to build a brand. It's all about what goes into it and what you need to be able to do that and to build a brand that stands out. 
Next I have a book called YouTube Secrets. This is by Sean Cannell and Benji Travis. And this is all about things you need to know when you're starting in YouTube, the strategies, the different tips and uh, techniques and things for starting on YouTube. So that is a really, really great read. If you're just starting out on YouTube, I highly recommend this one. Next, I've got Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. Now I actually signed up to Rachel's um, conference this year which is Rise, her conference that she does on a yearly basis. Now unfortunately it's been moved about three times now and I don't know when it's been moved to this time, I think September or something, but I'm really looking forward to that when it eventually does happening because I loved this book. This is almost what started my interest in reading this year is reading this book, like this one was just really really good and the last book for this bottom shelf is a book called super fans again this is one of my favorite reads of 2021 so far i really really enjoyed this and again this is about how to create a community how to stand out and how to build groups of people together and bring groups of people together using social media so i really really love this book and i really highly recommend it i'm just gonna keep saying that i highly recommend it to everything because i love all the books that i have Okay, so in the next shelf here, I have a couple more kind of like productivity type lifestyle books and then I have fiction books. So I'll show you the productivity ones. So firstly, I have one called How to Build It and this is Grow Your Brand. I haven't read this yet. When I looked at it on Amazon, I thought it was like a full size proper book, but it's just a little tiny. I mean, it doesn't look that small there, but like when you compare it to other books, it's just like a little tiny book. Um, and I think this is all just about growing a brand. I think it's got little exercises and things in it that you can do. Um, it definitely will be an easy read whenever I finally get around to it because it is really, really tiny, but I just haven't actually had a chance to get to it yet. And then I have a book called The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, and this one is all about how to create habits. It basically talks you through how we gain habits, how habits come about and what they mean for our life and then how you can actually change the habits to do things that you actually want to do in the day rather than things that are wasting your time. Okay so now we are on to the fiction part. So things I like to read are usually like in two parts. So I have my kind of business, productivity, lifestyle, things to help me on YouTube, things to help me in life section and then I have my fiction section and I like to read the fiction books more in the evenings to help me unwind a little bit rather than my learning. I like to you know spend a little bit of time in a different world aka a fiction book. So this shelf is pretty much all the same series of books apart from one. And the one book that is different on this shelf is the book You by Carolyn Katnez and this one was a Netflix series which I really 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 enjoyed if you haven't seen this Netflix series, 100% recommend it, couldn't recommend it more. It is so freaking good. But I love to read the book of something after I've seen it on TV because I feel like I can see the people whenever I'm reading the book. Don't know if that's just me. A lot of people like to do it the other way around. So I'm really, really excited to actually read this book. And then we have the reason why I haven't gotten to that book yet. And the reason why I haven't gotten to so many other books yet is because I decided to buy the collection of Dexter books. So Dexter is also a TV show and it's one that I loved a couple of years back and watched the whole thing. Really, really enjoyed it. There were a couple of series which were questionable but most of it I really really enjoyed and really liked watching. So I decided to buy the collection of books as well from Amazon and um, they are basically taking up most of this shelf behind me. Now I'm only about halfway through the first book which is Darkly Dreaming Dexter but I really like it already and I'm very excited. I think over the summertime I will definitely be able to get through more of these. Okay and then on the top shelf here I have a couple more bullet journals and these are more recent ones I actually tend to use on a regular basis along with my Erin Condren planner which I unboxed in a very recent video. I will link that up above if you guys want to go and check that out. And then the rest of this shelf I just have some fiction books. So I've got a book by uh, Janet Ivanovich which is called One for the Money. Again this is a film. I love books from films, films from books and TV shows. I love them. So this is a film with Katherine Heigl in it and I just really, really liked the story in the film. So I decided to buy the book as well. This is part of a series. I think there's two for the dough. There's loads of other books that come after this, but this one I really, really liked. Next then I've got a couple of Terry Pratchett books and these are books that my boyfriend Ethan said I should read. We watched a series on Amazon Prime called Good Omens and I loved that. So this is the book version of that, which I am working my way through. 
And then I've also got a book called More by Terry Pratchett, which I haven't had a chance to read the whole way through yet. Um, but this is also from a similar collection and I think that there's a film version of this as well. Okay, so next I have a couple of books which I actually read last year, but I really, really loved them both. And again, they are both films. I just, I love films from books. Should we have a simple favor? If you've not seen this film, go and watch it today. It is so freaking good. It's got Anna Kendrick and Blake Lively in it and it is a really great story, so I highly recommend it. The book is just as good, really, really great read. And then I've got Crazy Rich Asians, which is also a film now and it is a really good film too. So I highly recommend both of those books. They're really great um, holiday reading books, I would say. Very easy read very fun, very entertaining, just really good. And I have a couple of books which my mum has lent to me. I've got Snapped in Cornwall, which is apparently a kind of like murder, mystery, midsummer murder style vibe, which sounds really good. And it's part of a series as well, so I still need to read that one. And then I've got Richard Osman, The Thursday Murder Club. Now this one is a relatively new book and I've heard some really, really good things about it. So I'm definitely very excited to read this one. It keeps getting recommended to me on Audible. I did a review of Audible a couple of months to go for you guys if you want to go and check that out make sure that you click the little card which i will put wherever it comes up above here this one keeps getting recommended to me on audible so there must be something about it that's good so i still need to read this one i actually thought that that was it but i've just noticed that i have got one more book in here which is actually one that i'm currently reading one million followers it's by brendan Keane, same guy that wrote this one hook point so um, i'm currently reading through this one at the minute which is why it's kind of at the top of my bookshelf and uh, really enjoying this one so far. Again, this is just about building a brand on social media, building a following, getting subscribers, all that kind of stuff in this book. Okay, so that was my bookshelf tour. If you like this video, I highly recommend you go and check out my Audible review where I review audiobooks in case you don't want to buy a lot of books. Or you're trying to find a way that you can actually read on the go, I really recommend Audible and I talk about it a lot in that video. So make sure you go and check that out next. Make sure you subscribe before you leave and I will see you all in the next one.